Well, Jessica, Maura Healy becomes the first woman elected as governor here in Massachusetts, but nationally, she becomes the first openly gay woman to be leading a state. A historic victory in a state that has had many for the LGBTQ movement. To every little girl and every young LGBTQ person out there. I hope, I hope tonight shows you that you can be whatever, whoever you want to be. With Maura Healey becoming the first lesbian governor in the United States. For so long, LGBTQ plus people were kept out of political office. And that's why a first is always important. Ellen Rudstrom is the executive director of Speak Out Boston, the nation's first LGBTQ speakers bureau. She hopes that Healy's election will be particularly inspirational for the children of the Commonwealth. LGBTQ plus youth are afraid. There still is uh, examples of bullying and other things that are going on in the schools that do not make them feel safe completely. That includes July's neo-Nazi protest outside a drag queen story hour in JP in hate speech vandalizing the future home of an LGBTQ friendly senior living facility in Hyde Park. More reason why Ruthstrom believes Healy's election is so powerful, given the political climate across the country and the hate that can even be found in Massachusetts. And so it's really important for our community to know that we have someone in the governor's office who will hopefully defend those, um, those against those actions. And more Healy will be here at the State House later this afternoon, meeting with current Governor Charlie Baker. She's expected to be sworn in as the 73rd governor of Massachusetts on January 5th. Reporting live at the State House, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.